Here we are again at the Trader 24 studios. Investors' anticipation of a less aggressive Fed involvement in the coming days in terms of changing monetary policy, coupled with a flurry of upbeat corporate results on Wall Street, gave a bullish rhythm to equity markets alongside a third consecutive down day for the US dollar. Taking into account the upcoming rather defensive stance of the head of the European Central Bank, Christine Lagarde, regarding the, for the first time in 11 years, increase of benchmark interest rates and the subsequent takeoff of the euro markets, we have before us a significant upward reaction, which seems to continue for a while longer. Bondholders are silent for the moment, keeping US and Eurozone government bond yields around unchanged, while in the commodity market, the tense situation does not seem to ease, with the freight market still more than 50% below the highs reached in mid-May. You are watching the Trader24 Global Market Overview. Let's take a closer look at the situation. On Wall Street, the partial weakening of the dollar and a parade of good second quarter corporate results led to strong gains as the boards welcomed frantic buyers. The New York Stock Exchange Index closed at the highs of the day at plus 2.52%, permanently bullish and in fact well above the midpoint volumes. Similar behavior was seen in the S&P 500, Dow Jones and NASDAQ, which closed with the gains of 2.76%, 2.43% and 3.11% respectively, while the small cap followed with Russell 2000 at plus 3.50%. All 11 S&P sectors closed positive, with telecoms at plus 3.56% and industrials at plus 3.57%, recording the largest gains. The VIX risk index lost last 4.35 percentage points, without following the SARP crescendo but still showed that the bets in favor of the fall were decreasing. The main positive protagonists in large cap were Didi at plus 13.31% and PVH at plus 8.18%, while in the technological sector, the best performers were Peloton 8.92% and Match 8.17%, both with high turnover. Finally, in the industrial Dow Jones, only 2 of 30 saw a negative sign. Johnson & Johnson and IBM due to negative results, with Boeing and Goldman Sachs riding high at 5.69% and 5.57% respectively. In the pre-market now, most listed companies are hovering around unchanged, with the Chicago futures giving a tepid bullish opening, at least for now. Asia closed on a positive note, in line with Wall Street. The Hang Seng gained 1.48% to 20,967 points and a one-week high with China's primer Li Kengiang saying painstaking efforts are needed to stabilize overall economic performance, indicating a shift to more targeted COVID control measures. The decision by China's central bank to keep its benchmark lending rates for corporate and household borrowing unchanged Adopting a defensive approach amid signs of economic recovery also raised concerns. The Japanese Nikkei closed up 2.67% and the Topics closed up 2%, while the Australian 200 also approached a monthly high of 1.70%. Developments within the Eurozone may set the pace not only in domestic markets but also globally, with all eyes on the political drama in Italy, with its implications for sovereign debt and on the ECB's moves regarding interest rate targeting, with the market considering a 25 basis points rate hike after 11 years as a certainty. European markets moved upwards, the DAX and CAC 40 closed at plus 2.50% and 1.79%, while the 50 and 600 euro stocks closed around plus 1.20%. The biggest gains were recorded by Adidas at plus 6.50%, Intensa San Paolo at plus 5.89%, and Bayer at plus 4.76%. For now, the main indices are recording modest gains at plus 0.30% on average. In the Athenian stock exchange, Greece follows with plus 0.60%, in the general and the 25 large cap indices, with the banking sector outperforming, outperforming with, two, with plus 
In US Treasuries, sellers maintained their strength, leaving the 10-year yield at 3.02%, a few basis points below local highs, with that of the 30-year seeing 3.82%. The interest rate curve took a slight slope, with a two-year around 2.97%, while in Europe, the German Bund sees a yield of 1.23%. The spread of the Greek is at 219 basis points, the Treasury at 175 basis points, and the yield at 93 basis points. In the forex market, the euro exchange rate against the dollar continued to rise, with supportive markets pointing towards 1.04 in the context of the ECB's expected involvement in the interest rate war following the release of the inflation data. A partial softening of the strong dollar markets is observed, with the respective DX index closing negative for the third day below 107 points. The pound now is now at 1.20, the Swiss franc at 1.03, and the New Zealand dollar at 0.6250. The yen dollar exchange rate is also at a 24-year high of 138 yen. Reserve Bank of Australia Governor Philip Lowe has warned that second quarter inflation to be announced next week will show further acceleration, saying that the path to 2 to 3 percent inflation can be achieved without sacrificing the economy and employment. In commodities, there is the problem of very expensive natural gas, with TDF at 159 euros per megawatt hour and Henry Hub at 7.20 dollars per million thermal units. Gold and silver continue to be under pressure, with the latter having lost all of 19 dollars per ounce. Gold also marginally maintained 1700 dollars apparently in negative territory at 11 month lows and far from the highs of 2060 dollars a few months ago. In agricultural commodities, cot cotton remains at 10-month lows, coffee continued upward in its attempt to move away from 8-month lows, and corn is also at 7-month lows in the $6 per bustle range, following a report of lower production levels in Central America due to poor weather. Finally, in the freight market, the Baltic lost 0.8% to close at 2,145 points, missing its high for the month, mainly due to a 2.30% reduction in cape size, with the Panamax finally closing positive after 20 sessions and the Supermax making its first upward move since June 23rd. In terms of economic releases, this morning in the UK, the CPI for June was announced at 9.4%, the highest level in 40 years and up 0.3% on May. Later in the afternoon in the US, results for the crude oil inventories are expected, with forecasts showing a 154 million drop in barrels. Yesterday in Europe, Eurozone inflation rate for June was announced at 8.6%, up 0.5% from May's level. Energy at 4.19% made the largest contribution to the annual inflation rate in the euro area, followed by food, alcohol and tobacco at 1.18%, services at 1.42% and non-energy industrial goods at 1.15%. In terms of corporate announcements, today we expect the financial results of Tesla with projected earnings per share of $1.86 and revenue of $16.52 billion. ASML with projected earnings per share of $3.69 and revenue of $5.65 billion, and EBOT with projected earnings per share of $1.13 and revenue of $10.31 billion. Also set for today is Colgate Palmolive's dividend X date with a yield of 2.42%, up 12.29% year over year, and 4.5% on a monthly basis. Yesterday, financial results were announced by Johnson & Johnson with earnings per share of $2.59 and revenue of $24.02 billion, both above forecasts. Lockheed Martin with earnings per share of $6.32 and revenue of $15.45 billion, both below forecasts. Netflix with earnings per share of $3.2 and revenue of $7.97 billion, with revenues below forecasts and Halliburton with earnings per share of $0.49 and revenue of $5.07 billion, both above forecasts.
The crypto market as a whole is moving into the green from the largest Bitcoin and Ethereum to the altcoins Dogecoin and Shiba Inu as fears about the impact of inflation seem to be receding. Yesterday afternoon, Bitcoin broke the $23,000 barrier, continuing the bullish break that followed the US CPI release last week. Ethereum has also seen a spectacular rise of 50% in the last week, mainly due to successful testing of its upcoming transition to a less energy-intensive proof-of-stake network in September. Other altcoins, such as Ripple's XRP, Solana's Sol, Avalanche's Avax and Uniswap's Uni, have been steadily rising in recent hours, while Cardano's ADA, Dogecoin's Doge, ApeCoin's Ape and Optimism's OP have risen more than 10%. Thank you for joining us today. It was the Trader24 Daily Global Market Overview. Stay tuned for our next comment on the financial markets.